Okay, so iPadOS 17 came out quite recently for the 4th generation iPad Air, so in this video I'll be explaining to you what's new in this update. So first off, when we go to the lock screen, you'll see the customization is sort of like the one on the iPhone on iOS 16. So basically you can create multiple wallpapers and just set one at a time. And when we press on customize, you'll see the widgets appear on the left side of the screen, unlike on the iPhone which has them under the clock. And the other thing that is different from the iPhone is that you can also customize the boldness of the time. Now for the next feature, we need to go into settings, then into screen time. And over here you'll see that there's a new option for communication safety, and there's an option to check for sensitive photos. And right under here, it says messages can detect nude photos before they are sent or viewed on your child's device and provide guidance and age appropriate resources to help them make a safe choice. Apple does not have access to the photos. So in summary, this is just a way to prevent children from seeing inappropriate photos and text messages. Now the next feature is in the accessibility section of settings. So when you go here and down to the bottom, then you'll see there's an option for assistive access. And over here, it says assistive access provides an alternative iOS experience. Essential apps have been redesigned to be larger, share the same style, and have fewer features. So in summary, if the iPad OS experience seems complicated, then you could just turn on this feature to make it seem more simple. Now we still have a couple more features to cover here in settings. First off, if you go into the Safari section, then down to here, there's an option for profiles. And it says here, profiles allow you to keep your browsing info separated. You may want to set up a profile for work or school. Your history, cookies, and website data will be separated for profile. And you'll see there's an option to create a new profile over here. And when you press on it, you could set the name to anything you'd like. So for example, I can set this to school. And this is where you could change up the icon. And you could also change some of the basic settings. Now to switch profiles, just go into Safari. Then, once you're here, press on this button at the top left corner and tap on profile and just select the profile that you created and that's basically it. Now something else I also noticed in Safari is that when you search something up, it actually loads a lot quicker than it did in iPadOS 16 and this might not be true for all people but it definitely is for me. Now the last feature I want to cover in settings is in the music section. So when you go here, then you'll see that there's a new option for crossfade. And when you enable it, the slider shows up and it basically allows you to choose how many seconds it crossfades between different songs. Now, another feature I also noticed with the music app is that when you create a playlist, you have the option to collaborate with people. I don't know how to do it, but basically it allows people to add or remove any songs they like. So we did also get a couple new features on the home screen. And one of those new features or interactive widgets and for example if you go into reminders and you set a reminder then you could check it off on the widget without actually opening the app and the other new feature in iPad OS 17 is a brand new health app and this app was previously only available for the iPhone and iPod touch but Apple finally added it to the iPad and we also have another app which is journal and it's not released for iPadOS 17 beta yet, but once the update is released, it should work. And basically, this app allows you to store some of your past memories and some of your photos. Now, iPadOS 17 also brought a ton of new features in the Messages app. And first off, there's this plus button. And when you press on it, you'll see all the stickers got moved here. And something else you should know about this update is that this button here, no longer records the, the audio that you're saying, but instead it records the text. And if you want to record your actual audio, you have to press on this button over here and you'll see it'll start recording it. And the last feature in iMessage is very small, but basically it allows you to swipe right to reply to a message. Now the last feature I will mention that's new in iPadOS 17 is in the contacts app. So when you go into here, then just select any profile and press on edit, tap on edit again. You'll see that the customization is sort of like the one on the lock screen. So you could create multiple profile pictures, but you can only set one at a time. 
Now that is basically it for the iPad OS 17 review for the fourth generation iPad Air. I hope you found this video helpful and I'll see you in the next video.